really love to talk about uh, live music and our guest this afternoon is Dan Booth from Ferocious Dogs. They play are going to be playing at the Slade Rooms in Wolverhampton on the 4th of October. Um, now, I've, I've got to read this because Viva La Rock has said 9 out of 10, earning a reputation as the UK's most exciting folk uh, punk band for good reason. They have played UK and Europe's favourite festivals, whether it's Glastonbury, Boomtown Fair, Lowlands Festival. So it's absolutely huge that they're coming to Wolverhampton. A pleasure to have you on the show, Dan. Oh, thanks, thanks for coming for in. Me. Thank you. Uh, now, for anyone who hasn't heard of Ferocious Dog, um, where did the band name come about? Oh, you must get asked this so much. <laughs> did you work <laughs> in a pet shop? Time. <laughs> yeah. No, why are you called Ferocious Dog? Why is the group called Ferocious Dog? So my, ste- my stepdad's the singer, and it was my younger brother when he was really young. He he kind of made the name up and because we, we, we needed a band name. And... Lee just said, yeah, Ferocious Dog. And we were like, yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with Happy that. Happy Did anyone yeah. think that they were going to change the name later on? We did consider it, but it just stuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what were some of the other options? Uh, I don't think we had any. No, you didn't have any. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, you know, it's, it's very much, it seems like a family thing, right? And is, uh, when yeah. you guys are on tour and everything, does it all get on? Do you guys all get on? Do you get on each other's nerves or do you just think, yeah? Of yeah. course we get on each other's yeah, nerves. Yeah, of course. It's, it's all part, it's part, of, it. part <laughs> of it. That's what makes us ferocious. There's... <laughs> 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 There's a lot of love there as well. Of course yeah, there we is. All, we all get on. We all get on. And uh, w- when, you, when you guys started out the band, I guess, um, was it, what was the thinking behind it? Was it for a career or was it just to hang out? Like a no, hobby? No, it, it started as a hobby. I mean, we were doing pubs as, as like a cover band for years. What cover was it? We were doing like Levelers, Pogues, Saw Doctors. My yeah. man. Um, wow. Like Irishy, Celtic kind of stuff. Yeah. And then about seven, eight years ago, we decided to write our own music and then we brought out our debut album and now we're four albums out amazing That's amazing and uh what, what what instrument do you play i play violin so how long have you been playing uh the fiddle or the violin can we call it the fiddle or is it a different what, they're, what? they're both the same thing yeah i know it's, they're the same but it, then they have this kind of different sound to it when you play it as a fiddle or as a play it as a violin doesn't it i think it tends to be classical people call it a violin okay and more folky people call it a fiddle so what do you call it i call it violin though so you're, ah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so he's classical i mate. love that although on your website on your website it says the fiddler it you, that's that. I, said, I love yeah, that yeah. Um, so he, lo- he's, a, he's a secret snob yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm really not <laughs> <laughs> um, but that is kind of cool to have you know as i mentioned earlier on folk fu- uh, folk punk band to have the violin do you enjoy having that because you've got to really when you're up against all of the other instruments you have to kind of stand out and, and you know ensure that you, the violin is heard yeah yeah i kind of use an effects a load of effects pedals as well to because it's like the lead instrument instead yes. of like a lead guitar we have violin so yeah i do i do cheat a bit and use a few pedals and Get the sound engineer to bump me up a little bit. It needs to... <laughs> to be done. It needs to be done. Do you like the fact that you're there rather than a guitar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it completely different though when you are as a band rehearsing to have that element? Because that is what makes you guys unique, right? Having that violin rather than, you know, because that sound completely changes. The dynamic will change within a band Yeah, as well. it changes it from a rock band to more something more folky, definitely. Yes, yes. We've, we've also got like banjo and mandolin and all sorts. Yeah, so it is a fantastic group with an array of different talents. We're going to find out more about Ferocious Dog. They're going to be playing, by the way, at uh, Slade Rooms in Wolverhampton on the 4th of October. So if you want further details, any and all Instagram, it's really simple, Ferocious Dog. Or, of course, you can go to their website as well, ferociousdog.co.uk. Um, we've been having a great chat today with Dan Booth. He is from Ferocious Dog. They're playing at the Slade Rooms in Wolverhampton on the 4th of October. Um, now, I was mentioning earlier on, they've, they've received some rave reviews and they've actually played at many of the UK and Europe's favourite festivals, whether it's Glastonbury, Boomtown Fair, Lowlands Festival. Folk Metal says, Ferocious Dog are a very socially conscious band and their music and lyrics are designed not only to make you smile and sing along, but also to make you feel something. Well, let's have a listen, shall we? This is Cry of the Celt. <laughs> Warriors on both sides, but Colin starts to slaughter, lets out his battle cry. Run through the forest, take refuge in the trees, Karanas, the young god, is waiting there for me. Octane 
stuff. You can't help but move to that. I love it. Wow. Um, really reminiscent of Wonder Stuff, got to say. Are you a big fan of Wonder Stuff? I'm a massive Wonder Stuff fan, yeah. I mean, we, we've supported them about five years ago at Rock City. Right. Wow. Yeah, yeah. How does that feel when you get to support people that you're fans of? Because that's quite, you know, that can be that's a lot epic. of pressure, but epic at the same time. It is pressure at the time, but it's great fun, obviously. Um, and with that, we just mentioned earlier on that um, Folk mm. Metal have said you're a very socially conscious band. Yeah. Uh, the new album, it's out and available now, is called Fake News and Propaganda. I wonder what that's all about. <laughs> <laughs> or has been inspired by. <laughs> it's very much the Trump era and Brexit. Is that what it's all about? Yeah, the right wing media. Yep. And talk to us about that. Why was it important for you guys to put that in your music? I think right about now, there's nothing more obvious about how the right wing media are um, twisting people's minds and making them think that Brexit's cool and it's going to be good for us. And it's really not. I think it's going to destroy the country. And then how do you relay those thoughts into an album and a song, which it doesn't feel like a political broadcast <laughs> from your side or, or your point of view? Yeah. Because you know I mean? a lot of people have been thinking, He's got it all wrong. I didn't go with the right wing media. I'm doing it because this has affected my life. So how do you then, you know, like, even though you're politically sort of like motivated yeah. for this album, but d does it feel that kind of, do you f feel that in the music? Yeah, I think so. I think the, probably the best thing to do is listen to one of our songs called Fake News okay. on, on the album and you'll, you'll get it. You'll get, you'll yeah, get the you'll album get straight away. Coming from, How long yeah. did it take you to get that album out? Uh, it started writing from Oh, beginning. it took forever. Really? It took, yeah, it took about 12 months in the studio. Wow. Yeah, it was a, a long, drawn out, thing but we wanted to make sure it was perfect yeah and we're dead happy with it i could hear you on the violin in that and uh you know it seems like a lot of movement a mm. lot of going on it seems like your feet are tapping it's going to be a great night out on the fourth oh the slade uh, rooms yeah yeah, yeah. yeah in, the, in the slade rooms and um you are playing the violin how how many violins do you have on standby because i'm thinking you must be breaking <laughs> quite a lot of strings <laughs> I, I, can just, I can just imagine you're like in it oh, shit, oh, <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've broke a string on stage before. Yeah, um, I've got one spare just ready, ready and ready waiting. Ready to go, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how often do you have to use that spare one? Not too often, to be Good. honest. Touch wood now. Touch, touch wood, wood. Yeah, yeah. Touch That's wood. a professional right there. <laughs> and what are the, some of the other instruments? You mentioned them just before we went on air, uh, before we went to the news headlines. What were some of the other instruments the that band. you have? Oh, yeah. so we've, got, we've got Alex on drums, Les on guitar, uh -huh. John on bass, another John on, he plays like literally everything, Penny right. Whistle. Flips from mandolin to banjo to guitar. Amazing. Wow. And then Ken sings and plays I guitar I love the as well. banjo. Well, that's one of my favorite instruments in uh, bluegrass. Really? I love bluegrass, <laughs> right? So I'm into bluegrass. And yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Like, as soon as you hear the banjo, it takes you to America, right? Straight <laughs> oh, yeah, away. Yeah. For some reason, it takes you to America. Yeah. Or black and white comedy comedian actor. I forgot his name. And he used to play the... Um, that little ukulele. Oh, uke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so when, when you guys are rehearsing, yeah. and I guess who's the most dominant voice? Mm. Who's the one who's saying, right, this is going to be the arrangement, and if anyone's got ideas, we'll do it at the end of this? Or how does it work? Because no, you're think, all family and sort of f close friends, aren't you? I think we, we all chip in, all of us. Like the drummer will have ideas for certain like um, beats and stuff, and like the guitarist will have ideas for licks and riffs and stuff, and then I'll have ideas, kind of have some ideas so like, it's a collaborative process it is, yeah then. especially um, this last album yeah and something i did want to talk to you about finally because we were talking about this off air um you were mentioning that you know this is the third if not fourth time you're coming back to slade rooms and you were saying how you love coming to wolverhampton yeah. what is it about the west midlands as a whole or coming to wolverhampton that you and the band love every time we've played wolverhampton the energy in the room's just been phenomenal yeah like everyone just jumps about and goes crazy it's it's certain cities have got it yes and this is one of them and Wolverhampton's definitely yeah, got definitely it. I got love it. that. It's got it. Um, do you do you find that you feed off the energy? Because I, I was saying this earlier on. I'm a huge fan of live music. Yeah. Yes, I could listen to the album, and yes, you could listen to a song. But just being there in the moment with the audience, the band. I mean, even now your eyes are lighting up. Is that what you do it for? <laughs> for the live. It's the energy, like yes. you just said. Literally, just do it for that. There's nothing like it. It could be absolutely shattered, been on the road, and then you see and you are there with the group, yeah. with the band, and yeah, then you, you can, forget all of that, don't you? You can be super tired, boy. You you start playing one song, and that's it. Boom, you're, <laughs> you're wide awake. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And what is it, what was what, what's one of your favourite and the cloud prizes that keep coming back? Ask for an encore, and that's the song they want to hear. We always finish our sets on a song called Slow Motion Suicide. Okay. So it's like it's like a full song and then a full violin. Um, three minute violin wow. instrumental wow. and that's a lot of pressure on you then I guess no it's not pressure so no, you, love you, it. Know it, right? like, you love it you love that yeah, I love it, playing it so you're the Paul McCartney at the end right with Hey Jude and you're, you're, you're the guy who comes in like All right, back off lads <laughs> All right, I've got this now leave it to the violin <laughs> dude Hey Jude <laughs> while, while I'm doing that um, the bassist John and yeah. the mandolin player he's all good 
also called John, they jump into the crowd. Literally John and John. Whip their instruments <laughs> off. <and> just, <laughs> literally get crowd surfing. It's brilliant. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, do you know what? If you want a good night out, because you can just That's tell. That's one way of getting a massage, be... isn't it? Absolutely. You know, at the end of a gig, you're like, how are we going to get a massage? And they just jump in the crowd and they'll just, just push us along. <laughs> and you're like, go on, John, do your three minute. Make it four today. Yeah, you know Dad, I mean? go on. Yeah. Um, got a bit of a crook neck. Uh, <laughs> if you would like to see the guys, because they, as I've mentioned earlier, if Ray reviews, they're going to be back at Wolverhampton. Clearly, as Dan has just said, it's one that they really really love to do as well. It's going to be 4th of October at the Slade Rooms in Wolverhampton. Go to the website ferociousdog.co.uk They're on all the social media as well Ferocious Dog for further details. Such a pleasure having you on the show Dan. Thanks Thank for joining us. And, uh, Dan, uh, when is your next album coming out? Do you think, uh, Or are you just going to tour with this one for a while? We are going to release some more music in the next few months. Happy next days. Yeah, yeah. Watch Brilliant. this space. Yep. Thanks again. Thank you.